Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Gold Drop pay dirt and gold separating processor. Recently, while I was attending the Dallas Fort Worth GPAA Gold and Treasure Show, I met a gentleman by the name of Don Greenwood. He was pretty impressed by the performance of the gold drop. So he decided to send me a sample of his very difficult talcum powder, just finest stuff I've ever seen. So, and he actually took this to a assayer to have him assay the contents. Well, the assayer told him there was too much iron in it. And for $14,000, he could remove the iron and then complete the assay. Well, he didn't take him up on that offer. So he met me at the Dallas Fort Worth Gold Show and was pretty impressed. And he decided to send me a sample of his pay dirt. So this is what I'm going to show you now is my separation of his gold from his dirt. So what I've done is I went ahead and liquefied all your talcum powder so it's just very very mucky. So anyway that way then it uh, runs through the gold drop pretty good and so here's what I've been doing is uh, dumping it in the funnel and just kind of oozing it in. So as it goes down into the trap then what's happening is uh, this is where our elutriation is happening right here. So you can see the tiny particles. I believe you might be seeing some little gold drop out of there too. I'm not sure, but I've seen a couple of flakes drop out. Oh, there's a big something that dropped out. So anything, every, everything's collecting in the jar. And so you can see there's really not much in the jar. And so then, so what's happening above that you can see all of the material moving down the funnel towards the point of elutriation and all of the uh, muck and the dirt is heading up and out and then into the tailings bucket. So once I process it all, then we'll open the jar and we'll show you what we got. Here's what we have as a recovery of Don Greenwood's talcum powder dirt, which turns out to be hard rock crushed ore. Right now I have a 10 power loop attached to my camera, so I apologize for the unsteadiness. But here we have something interesting, which Don believes might be rhodium. We have this gray matter it's about 400 mesh and less that's floating in the vial here with gold floating on top. You can see the gold underneath there. And there's also some additional gray matter, potentially rhodium, at the bottom of the vial too, sitting on next to the gold. So there's what we recovered. It was about a gallon of material. That's quite a bit of gold. So, there you go. Well, there you have it. Sluice Goose Gold Drop. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being interested. Well, there you have it. His gold out of his dirt, which he couldn't get out, and the assayer was going to charge him $14,000 just to remove the iron. And in five minutes time, I had his gold removed from his muck. So just another demonstration how well the gold drop performs. So www.sluicegooseindustries.com. Be on the market sometime by the end of the year, hopefully. That's what I'm shooting for. Thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.